We see all the bruising in the bone here. And we see fracture through here. All this is fractured. All this is all bruised from the impact and the blow when she hit the tree. And again, um, you know, it just goes to show bro bone will get bruised just like in humans from a severe injury as well as muscle. Now, here we see even a little bruising of the nasal bone. Yeah? Now, what was crazy when I did this dissection, and I have dissected heads for 10 plus years, and you see a lot of different things in the teeth. And, um, you know, sometimes you find a mouth that was never done. Sometimes you find a mouth that was overdone. Sometimes you find the nice mouth. But this one was kind of a surprise shocker when we look at these teeth. And you'll see closely, they're pretty smooth. A lot of pulp chain and very exposed. And again, like I said, this is what I would expect to see on a 20-year-old's mouth. Yeah? And her back three molars would have only been in shortly in her life, and they're very polished. Now, if we look here, you'll see right here there's a big cavity. And this is where we found the whole pen fits in there. It was impacted with food. It was all stuck through this whole area of the teeth and gums on both sides. Yeah, and it, she just had a big infection brewing down in there. Um, the whole gum here. Yeah, and what's interesting is how the bone looks a little different through there. Yeah, bone is a great resource in telling a story. And here we see some of the angle taken away, too. Yeah, and her teeth are different left to right, so that means she was just chewing on one side. All horses are meant to chew on both sides, but sooner or later, they'll end up chewing on one side due to muscle tensions. But... She also was chewing on one side due to the problems in her mouth with that much pain. Yeah, we see a little change over here as well. But then if we look at her maxilla, we're going to see this whole other issue she was having to contend with in her mouth, a few of them. This one is what happens in this whole tooth here, this molar, fractured partly off due to whoever was the dentist who went in here and they were using a power tool on the outside of the tooth here. And this part of the tooth, and you can see it because you know somebody's been using a tool on here due to how shiny it is, it's cleaner. Yeah, it's not as brown. And what happened is if you take that off, it makes the tooth unstable and this is what's possible. The tooth can fracture. And this was left like that in her mouth. So she would have been racing and training like that. And all that it would need to take is somebody to look in there and address that properly. Um, she could have had a whole different possible life here, for sure, without a doubt. Now we also see how severe the damage from the power tool work is here. Because look how deep the pulp chamber is. Again, she's five. Yeah? And it's all exposed. And again, this is what I would expect. And they're shiny. And there's not much grinding surface here. It's all smooth. I would expect to see this on a 20-plus-year-old's horse's mouth yeah so um just an educational piece for people out there you know a little more education on the process of what is good dentistry is important because this is not good dentistry no matter what you want to say and um, it could have made all the difference of this horse possibly being alive today or not and whether it contributed to her going nuts um, i don't know how deep the infection may have gone or not for that matter but she definitely, you can see here on the bone, see this color change? Yeah. So anyways, I thought y'all would find that interesting and, you know, educational. So you can realize um, by the more education you have, what is proper dentistry, what to look for in dentistry. Uh, this is not what you want to have in your horse's mouth because by the time this horse would be 20, she would probably have not much teeth left because there was too much taken off. So, turn the camera over. and yeah, thought you may all enjoy that. Very educational for my students when they saw it dissected and, you know, for this horse's life to go beyond uh, its accident. It's a great way to give back to other horses and horse owners in this industry to learn from. And hopefully you take that um, and use the knowledge wisely and learn a little more about what is good dentistry so your horse is you know horses all this does is shorten their life gives it makes it more prone to colic and there's no logic to this style of equine dentistry at all so anyways just want to hope that helps you all out 
gets you further down the road with your horse and opens the door to new possibilities and rethinking things. And um, thanks for joining in. And we'll come back to you with a new video because we got to get back to work and boiling out the rest of the bones. And I only have a, this quick little moment of getting online. All right. Thanks so much for joining. Enjoy your horses and we'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.